In John 15, Jesus reminds us that connection to Him, the vine, is vital if we are to bear fruit in our lives. Today, we pray that bankers and chief financial officers and all of us, as we manage our resources, might bear the fruit of wisdom and generosity. Uh, As we pray together, let's borrow these words from Psalm 31. Whenever I pray, you, God, have surely listened. Would you respond and have heard my prayer? Let's pray together. God, our vine, our source of life and hope, you, God, have surely listened and have heard my prayer. We continue to confess our desire to hoard. We confess our clenched fists. We confess that we struggle with fear, fear of losing paychecks, fear of 401ks and investments dropping rapidly, fear of the impact of an economic downturn on those we love. You, God, have surely listened and have heard my prayer. Today, we pray for all those involved in the finances of our world, for the stockbrokers and the chief financial officers, for the tellers and the branch managers at our local bank, for all of us as we seek to steward our resources. We pray that in the midst of this season, you would be near these people, near us. You, God, have surely listened and have heard my prayer. Give those providing financial advice clear words of wisdom and comfort. Give those managing critical loan applications a keen eye for justice and equity. We pray that businesses would not be overlooked because of racism and bias, and that resources would flow readily to the communities of deepest need. You, God, have surely listened and have heard my prayer. Help us to find our most meaningful connection, not in the global economy, but in you. Protect us from greed, we pray. Deliver us from our reliance on our account balances. Help us to know that we are not alone, not because of marketing platitudes, but because we are intimately connected and related to you, our Father and our God. You, God, have surely listened and have heard my prayer. Amen.